Your Excellency, a former Minister of Industry and President Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Dr. Mrs. Chief Nike Akonde. She's actually my sister. I'm proud of you. Congratulations. Please give her a round of applause. <laughs> Distinguished guests present here today, and in particular, CEOs of banks, captains of industry and commerce, very distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here this evening representing His Excellency, Executive Governor of Lagos State, Mr. Akinwumi Ambode, who is unavoidably absent because he has other scheduled appointments. He sends his greetings and has asked me to dutifully represent him at this great event. I'm also personally happy to be here. I feel highly honored because just 14 years ago, I was part of you before I crossed to the other side. I'm still a banker, even though I proudly consider myself an active politician. I will read His Excellency's address. I wish to felicitate with the publisher of Business Day newspaper for keeping faith with his vision of celebrating achievers in the financial and money market institutions in Nigeria. The annual event, the fourth edition, of which is holding today, we continue to inspire excellence and greater dedication among the players in the industry. The previous editions of the Business Day Banking Awards have been presented to institutions, organizations, and individuals in the financial and money market segment of our economy, who have gone ahead to be winners on the global stage. The pedigree of previous recipients says a lot about the industry, its reputation, and institutions which have added value to our economy despite the turbulence of global economic recession. The banking sector has attracted a lot of attention in the past one year. It has no doubt has had its fair share of the backlash as expected in an economy that is experiencing recession. At this time, practitioners in the sector are being challenged to demonstrate high level of professionalism in their quest to meet the expectation of various stakeholders, including regulatory authorities. Given this challenging operating environment, it takes hard work, commitment, and exceptional display of expertise to remain on the top and also be found worthy of awards. It's against this background that I believe tonight's award recipients deserve special accolades. Please, let's give them a round of applause. No doubt, the banking sector remains critical to the growth of any modern economy. The sector, more than any other time, has a role to play to ensure that the monetary policies of government achieve the desired goal of charting a new direction of the economy. The quest for the diversification and developing the non-oil sector cannot be realized without ensuring access to funds in addition to other incentives. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, 
the present economic challenges that we are experiencing should only bring out the best in corporate governance. Little wonder, therefore, that awards have been presented today to deserving recipients for the proactive and innovative values they have brought to the table. I will encourage the recipients in the various categories to see the awards as an inspiration and motivation to move up the ladder. You are being celebrated today by your industry peers for being the best in your field. Therefore, you should continue to be shining lights and brand ambassadors of the best in the banking world. I congratulate the publisher of Business Day News and his team for doing a yeoman's job of sifting through collated data and financial reports to shortlist the deserving, deserving recipients of the Business News Banking Awards 2016 and for the successful organization of the 2016 edition. I congratulate all recipients including families, friends, and associates for being recognized as achievers in your various award categories. I thank you all for listening, and God bless you all. Have a wonderful evening, and enjoy yourself. And as we say in Lagos, Governor Lagos State. God bless you. Thank you, Your Excellency. And we're going straight to the first set of awards. To help us in presenting this award, we'd like to invite a woman who had um, supervised this ministry, supervised this sector. I mean, I'd like to invite Chief Dr. Mrs. Nike Akonde, CON, the President of Lagos State Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and the former Minister of Industries, to help us make the presentation. Right. And the first sector is a sector that the present administration is looking at helping rescue our economy from the dependency on uh, oil. And the first award is the best bank in support of agriculture. The nominees are UBA. The second nominee, Union Bank of Nigeria. And the third nominee, Zenith Bank. The winner is Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the winner, the best bank in support of agriculture is UBA. Could the representative of UBA please step forward? And one would not be surprised about the support that UPA is giving to agriculture if you remember the days of Cockrow at dawn. 
they supported farming as far back then. Thank you. The next award presentation is to the best bank in corporate social responsibility. The nominees are Diamond Bank. First Bank, FCMB, and Zenith Bank. And the winner Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, Best Bank in Corporate Social Responsibility. The winner is FBN. First Bank is the winner of the Best in Corporate Social Responsibility. Representative of First Bank, 